In this video, I'm going to be taking you out with me for a fun day in Jaipur. Hi everyone and welcome to Sugar Spice Nice. My name is Shweta and in this video, I'm taking you with me for a fun day out in Jaipur. I'm starting my day with some breakfast from a place called Sodani. This is legendary level stuff. I mean, every time I come here, I make sure I visit this place and eat their rasgulla for sure. But for now, I have a few savory items from them. Like four different items here from them. So this is the bread pakoda, piaz ki kachori, samosa. I could honestly be mistaken that this is a batata vada. I mean, it looks exactly like that, but it's actually a paneer kofta. And I also have some soft spongy dhokla and of course, some chai. So the first thing that I'm trying is the bread pakoda. Now bread pakoda is a very typical North Indian thing. I haven't seen it too much in Jaipur. So when I saw it here, I was like, yes, let's try this. It feels like there is samosa ka masala in between the bread. It's dipped in a gram flour batter and then deep fried. Because of the thickness of the bread and the flavor of the gram flour, the stuffing is not that strong. Next thing that I'm trying is the paneer kofta. Now this again has an aloo stuffing. There are bits of paneer and there's also a little bit of soft inside and raisins. The aloo stuffing feels similar to the bread one, but the raisins, the paneer do add a different taste. The piyaz ki kachori here looks visibly different, like at least in terms of the stuffing. It's much more yellow, but the texture looks just how I like it. It's got a little like hint of sweetness. Amchur is not as strong as the others. I think I like this one better than a few others that I've tried in Jaipur. Next thing that I'm trying is samosa and we actually found a piece of kaju inside. That aloo masala is the same all throughout. Only in the piyaz ki kachori, it felt a little different. Lastly, trying some khaman. Now, khaman is not a local speciality, but Sodani does it really well, which is why I'm having it. If there's one thing you cannot miss from Sodani, it is the rasgulla. It's the best rasgulla I've had. It is such a big piece and it costs 27 rupees per piece. It's indeed satisfying. I think whenever I eat something and I truly enjoy it, it shows in my eyes. So I like to care for them by using an eye cream morning and night. And the one that I've been loving is from Vilva. It feels like a rejuvenating treatment for the delicate skin around the eyes and helps with fine lines, wrinkles, dark circles, and even puffiness. It's made with an exclusive blend of bamboo, goji berries and plant-derived ingredients that work as a wrinkle corrector and make skin appear brighter, firmer and more toned. It's very lightweight, blends easily and works well even when wearing makeup over it. Vilva as a brand has been working with ingredients derived from Mother Nature that are simple yet effective. Vilva's products are also paraben-free, not tested on animals and also don't contain any GMOs. I've been loving so many of the products that I've shared with you guys even before and I'm sure you're going to want to know more about them so I'm going to leave a link for this under eye cream and their other products in the description box below so make sure you check that and also don't forget to use the coupon code given on the screen for an added discount. And now let's just move on with the rest of the day because I'm taking you to a very very interesting place. has been on my must visit list in Jaipur for so many trips now and I'm finally here at Amer Palace. Amer used to be the capital city before Jaipur was the capital and this palace is like a much more bigger version of the city palace which is there in Jaipur today. If you're traveling in your private car then you can go all the way up to Amer but if you're traveling in a cab most likely they'll drop you at the steps and after which there's a long climb. The entry ticket is 100 rupees per person for an Indian tourist and I think about 500 rupees for a foreign tourist and the prices for the sound and light show are different that I'll tell you about later because I'm going to actually be going for that as well. This is the Diwane Arm of Amer Palace. It does give me a little bit of a memory of City Palace, but I think that one is much more fancier. This one doesn't have any big uh, chandeliers and stuff. There are pillars and there are carvings on the tops of pillars. Extremely intricate. Some of the pillars are marble. There is of course a typical terracotta pink color used all over. This is a little bit ahead of the Diwane arm. I don't know whether it's a part of it or no, but the arches here are much more lower. I think this is a much better place for a photo op. Down there is such a beautiful courtyard. In front of me, there is something that I'm very excited to see. 
It is the hammam or Turkish baths. And they're quite dark inside. Uh, obviously, not too many windows, but there's a little bit of like a uh, jali or a jaroka for a bit of ventilation. Shish Mahal inside Amir Fort and this is the most stunning, the most intricate mirror work that I've seen. It just feels like an infinite stretch of mirrors. There are people in every nook and corner trying and getting the perfect pictures but I don't blame them. I myself have like so many pictures here and uh, I think I'm just going to be clicking a few more. So many different corners of this palace. Every like narrow pathway has steps and it brings you to a whole different area. This is the beautiful Char Bag. I never expected to see so much of greenery like right in the heart of the palace. So we have Sukh Mandir, the resting place of the king. I think this part of the palace does feel very very different. It's more white and uh, there's like a little bit of blue, a little bit of like a pinkish peaches shade. Part is just stunning for pictures, especially with the Char Bag in the background. Another great spot in the Amir Palace for a lot of pictures. It's close to evening and the colours of the Shish Mahal far away are looking even more stunning. Did you know there are some underground tunnels that actually connect Amir Fort to Jagar Fort? I mean, the history of these forts just never ceases to amaze me. This here is the watchtower and you do get an exquisite view of Jaipur from here. I think this is the most stunning part of Amir. Just look at the colours, look at the design, look at the intricacy. So beautiful. I'm just going to go up and get lots and lots of pictures clicked here. There's actually a restaurant right here inside Amir Palace, 1135 AD. There's still some time for the sound and light show, so I think I'm going to be going inside and grabbing a quick bite. So this is the interior of the restaurant and it is stunning. I feel like I'm dining in a part of the palace itself is technically a part of the palace because it's inside Amir. I just didn't expect it to be so stunning. You have to see the ceiling, not just the chandelier that's exquisite, but you can actually see the images of the royalty. Even the cooler here is covered with like this red velvety fabric. It feels like a royal restaurant in every sense of the term. If you look at carvings, the pillars, the seating, this is what the outside seating looks like. A little bit more casual as compared to inside. I think just sitting here and watching everything happening outside from these little windows or jharokhas, I'm just getting that full Maharani royal feel. Water here is served in a silver glass. This is an actual Chandika glass. They also serve you a papar platter along with some chutneys on the side. The green chutney is a coriander chutney with probably a hint of mint and the red one is the garlic chutney. It looks more fiery than it actually was. The next thing that came was the drink that I ordered. This is a mojito and uh, the mojito felt super refreshing after roaming around an entire day in this hot sun. The mojito was a bit more lime heavy than mint heavy but still it was really really good. The next thing that I tried was paneer hari mirch. Now this is an appetizer. Chunks of paneer covered with a marinade of uh, a green chilli paste and yogurt and there were actually pieces of chilli as well inside. Again this one looked more spicy and even sounded more spicy than it actually was but the flavour was just beautiful. There was a slight tinge of flavour from garam masala. I think the marinade was what was really beautifully done. All of this on soft paneer chunks when it goes inside a tandoor, the flavour that you get is just stunning. I really enjoyed this with a dash of lime on top and uh, even the salad on the side. It was fresh, it looked good in terms of presentation. Overall, the feel of this place is definitely something that you can come and treat yourself to after a day in Amer. The cost of the mojito is 350 rupees. The cost of the paneer hari mirch is 750 rupees. It is an expensive dining affair, but I mean, you are dining in a palace and the whole ambience and the feel and even the taste somehow makes this a good experience. There's actually a temple here which is very very famous, it's the Sheila Devi temple. There's no photography allowed inside or even around the temple so I can't take you guys in. But don't worry, I'm passing all of the good vibes to you. Whenever you come to Amer, definitely visit here.
Amer at night is so gorgeous. It's definitely one of the places to visit, not just during the daytime, but even at night, to just see the beautiful lights. सुन एक हजार छत्तीस बरसात की रात में दौर में धर्म और तहजीब so that was the sound and light show at Amer. The ticket per person cost rupees 250, and there are two versions of it. The English one starts at 6:30 in the evening, and it goes on up till I think 7:15, 7:30, and the Hindi one starts right after 7:30 to 8:30. There is no way to go for the sound and light show from inside Amer Fort. You have to come out and uh, do a lot of walk and then come. In fact, we came out of the Amer Palace and then walked for a while and then took a rickshaw who completely overcharged us but we had to make it for the show which is why it was all worth it. The show itself is beautiful. It tells you the history of Amer, everything that it's gone through throughout centuries. Amitabh Bachchan narrates the entire story. So I'm going to leave all of the other details and stuff in the description box below. So do check that. And now I am hungry. So that's exactly what I'm heading for. So right now I'm outside a restaurant called Niro's. I just ate my dinner and came out. One thing that I really enjoy over here is their butter paneer, paneer butter masala. It's a very different gravy, but it's something that I absolutely love here. It's not like a creamy makhani gravy, it's more of a tomato base. I was here with my friend and she ended up trying the lal mask, which she said was also good. So in case you're a non-vegetarian lover, then you can try that. The pricing of this place is on the slightly higher side. But if you want to come to a restaurant that has been around for decades and is popular amongst the locals, then Nero's is the one for you. So yes, it is legendary in its own right. And also let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see a video on legendary restaurants in Jaipur. So after dinner, I'm just like literally driving around and I finally reached another tourist spot of Jaipur, Hawa Mahal. Now Hawa Mahal at night is also really, really stunning. And I'm also planning to film a video on all the places that are a must visit in Jaipur at night. Like they look really, really beautiful. So that is really it from me in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your friends and family and subscribe to my channel for more. And yes, there's a lot more beautiful content coming up from my travels. So stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.